In our last video, we walked through the process of installing TrueNAS on Proxmox and created our first pool. Today, we're picking up where we left off by adding some functionality to our TrueNAS server. We'll create a new user and share a dataset to enable data sharing across the network. Let's first confirm that our pool has been created successfully. On the TrueNAS dashboard, you'll see key information about your server, including details about the pool on the top right corner of the screen. Here you'll see the pool name, path, and available space. You can also view your pools by navigating to the left side menu. Click on Storage, then select Pools. Once we've confirmed that our pool exists, we're ready to create a dataset. It's considered best practice to share data using a dataset rather than the entire pool. To create a dataset, click on the three dots next to your pool and select Add Dataset. Enter a name for the dataset. For now, we'll leave the other settings as default. Click Submit to create it. Now we have our first dataset named Test. Since the root account cannot access an SMB share, we'll need to create a new user. Go to the Accounts menu on the left, click on Users, then select Add. Enter the username and password for your new user and click Submit. We're keeping the configuration simple for now. Now that we have both a dataset and a user, we need to modify the permissions for the dataset. Return to Storage, locate the dataset, and modify its permissions. Assign the newly created user as both the owner and group for the dataset. Make sure to check Apply User, Apply Group, and Apply Permissions recursively. This last option is especially important if there's existing data in the dataset. Click Save. If you want more granular control, you can use the ACL Manager, but we'll keep things simple for now. Now let's create an SMB share so we can access the dataset over the network. Go to Sharing in the left menu and select Windows SMB Shares. Click Add, select the path to the dataset you just created, and click Submit. Next, configure the ACL access control list for the share. You can either use a preset ACL or create a custom one. To keep things simple but secure, we'll select the restricted preset. Click Continue. We're going to delete the group permissions for now since we won't be using any group settings and we'll just keep the owner permissions. Set the owner as the new user you created earlier. Check Apply Permissions Recursively, Apply Permissions to Child Datasets, and Apply User then click Save. Now you should be able to open the shared folder from your computer using the IP and the credentials for the new user you created before. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more simple tech tips. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video on Bite of Tech.